the first quarter in game three, and it was huge. A screen by Love, a drive by Jimmy Butler. In the third, across the lane, it's Butler, and Lopez right on with a whistle. Butler! Long shot! They swing it to Allen up top. Butler from out of nowhere, and Jimmy Butler. Over the top, to Butler, up and in! Jimmy Butler! Robinson against Butler, leaning in, Butler is fouled, makes it in! His first point. Wow, Lawrence trying to dunk it at Jimmy Butler! Yet to score in this first quarter, Butler gets the angle! And throws it ease after being frigid all game. Butler leans in and makes it home! Here's Butler. Butler catches his way inside. What's up, YouTube? It's Drew, and I'm back with another video. Big Body Banger 23 video. Now, first things first, make sure you like, comment, subscribe for Road to 7K. I'm saying today, I am the Bill Dilla on your local corner. And I'm gonna show with this playoff Jimmy Buckets Butler 2K23 build video. Yes, Sturgis was requested. So here it is today. As we know, the Miami Heat are going to the NBA Finals to play against the Denver Nuggets. And I think it's going to be Nuggets in five. Honestly, that is my honest opinion. I know a lot of basketball fans want the Heat to win. And I know a lot of y'all don't really know how the Nuggets play because let's be real the nuggets aren't like a television type of team and a lot of people don't know like their play style so i know a lot of people were shocked by how good the nuggets were but we saw what they did to the number one defense in the league they're going to do that to miami but still this is about jimmy butler so without further ado let's get right to the after i use for this playoff jimmy butler Ooh, so as you see he is a small forward six foot seven 230 pounds with a six foot eight wingspan and a defined body shape you know this is all accurate from the height to the weight to the wingspan to the body shape pause now for the attributes i'm going to put his well for finishing i'm going to put his close shot up to a 77 i'm going to put his driving leap all the way up to a 90 his driving dunk up to an 80 his pulse control up to an 80 for his shooting now i'm going to put his memory shot all the way up to an 84 I'm going to put his three-point shot up to a 75 and then for his free throw rating i put it up to a 71. for his playmaking jimmy butler is a very underrated playmaker i give him a 75 pass accuracy at 85 ball handling and then put his speed ball up to an 80. for his defensive rebounding this is going to be the bread and butter give him a 75 interior defense a 90 perimeter defense a 90 steal and then for the rest of the ratings Put, and basically put it toward um defense rebound at a 60. now for your physicals you know put your speed up to a 77 your acceleration up to a 77 your strength up to a 76 to get silver brick wall a 75 vertical and then a 90 stamina and this is pretty much the build man like comment and subscribe i did a, a regular jimmy butler build earlier this year and it's nothing like this one this one has better defense better shooting you know in my opinion it's not as good in the in terms of finishing because that one had contact dunks this one doesn't but still this is a very very viable build as you see with the takeovers i have access to slashing shot creating playmaking and lockdown takes i go with extreme clamps and pull up precision and you see in the shades of i get the one the only playoff jimmy buckets Butler. I also get RJ Barrett and Lou Hudson. You see, it's a two way inside the arc score. Also, side note, Lou Hudson used to go crazy for me when I played with the classic Atlanta Hawks teams back in the day. Like, on those play nows. But that's not even the point of this video. Jimmy Butler was going crazy yesterday, or two days ago, I should say. Caleb Mart was going crazy. So, this is in honor of the Miami Heat right now. You see, I did it after Jokic won. So, here we go. Now, for the bash spread, it's already a pretty, a pretty balanced bash spread. You know, you don't have to worry about tier three badges and that you know you pretty much have all of the tier three badges but with your extra badge attribute upgrade points 
I would either split them between defense and shooting or defense and finishing. At the end of the day, it's up to you. But I think you do have a good amount of uh, playmaking badges to begin with. Once again, it is up to you. Now, for this build, this build is one that does everything. You are able to play in the post at an efficient clip because you do have an 80 post control. As we know, Jimmy Butler likes to play in the low post. He likes to put his body on a defender and put him to the rim. Pause. That sounded, that sounded weird, but pause. But that's what he enjoys doing you know get his back to the basket make the smaller defender look stupid and if they're a bigger defender he'll do the same thing because he knows that he can uh, outpower them in terms of when he's not in the post bro is obviously has an underrated handle on things he can literally get to any spot on the floor that he wants to so this is that type of build where you can pull up from literally any part in the mid-range area while also spotting up at three you know the difference between this build and the last one is the last one had a 73 point shot this one has a 75 so it's a lot more consistent from three and that you will probably probably be able to even take pull up threes if you actually know your jump shot you know so this is one of those builds where you are able to shoot at a consistent rate especially from that mid-range area with that 84 mid-range shot and if you get boost that's essentially going to be an 89 mid-range shot but this is literally a jimmy buckets build that defense as well 90 perimeter defense a 90 steal you are literally going to be able to guard one through five especially with your 75 interior defense there is not one weakness that this build has of course it's not like the best like the only thing I would say it's great at is defense, but it's good at everything else, which is pretty much Jimmy Butler. Like Jimmy Butler is great at defense and and uh, in terms of effort, and he can be a very great scorer at times. But normally in the regular season, he is pretty good at scoring. You know, you don't look at Jimmy Butler and say that he's a top scorer in the league, but you know that he will still get you 25 points a game off of pure heart and aggression alone, which is why he is such a great player. Because you know he's one of those players who just wasn't naturally gifted. We all know the story. He was homeless at a time. His mom kicked him out. He wasn't naturally gifted. And one of these, like, say, like a Michael Porter Jr., who was a number one overall prospect, you know, he had to work for for everything and even to this day you know it's not like he's the most naturally gifted but we know that he's going to go and drive his head down put his head to the rim and score it at means if he needs to he's going to try to hit a step back mid-range shot and if he hits it he hits it which he will especially this playoff run and if he doesn't he will find a way to get his teammates involved he is great the best at involving his teammates and finding a way to win against all odds but that's pretty much the end of the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what y'all think down below about Jimmy Butler and about the finals. But until then, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.